Well, a hard day's night may soon become a hard day's bite in the soundtrack of a new movie that turns the Beatles into zombies. The producers of the movie Pulp Fiction have bought the film rights to a graphic novel called Paul is Undead. In the story's plotline, John Lennon kills the other three Beatles so that they can come back as zombies and prey on Fab Four fans. Well, the author of Paul is Undead is Alan Goldshare. He told me how on earth he came up with this idea. Going way back to the beginning, the Beatles were the first music that I listened to, like probably 98% of the people on the planet. So I've always had an affinity for them. When I started reading, becoming like an honest to goodness reader, uh, some of the first books I got out of the you know adult section of the library was Stephen King. So I've always had an affinity for horror fiction. Fast forward to the early 2000s when all of a sudden there's this zombie renaissance. You've got Shaun of the Dead. You've got Max Brooks's book, The Zombie for Survival Guide, and then the follow-up, World War Z. And then, of course, Seth Graham Smith's uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies came out soon thereafter. And that kind of got me thinking, you know, this seems like a ton of fun to write. What can I do to become part of this, you know, horror mashup world? And taking the the maxim, write what you know. I, I know the Beatles. I know music. And I know how to tell a fart joke. So I kind of mushed that all together and... There you have Paul's Undead. Okay, so in 30 seconds or less, tell me the plot line of your book. It's pretty simple. It parallels the uh, Beatles' actual story. Virtually everything in there has some historical connection to the honest-to-goodness life. And I just made them zombies and, and figured out how they, the zombified John, Paul, and George, along with a ninja Ringo, would handle the Shea Stadium situation or the Sgt. Pepper recordings. It's a, a, a retelling with a really, really twisted perspective. And somehow Mick Jagger and Yoko Ono are involved in this. Mick Jagger's a zombie hunter, and that's a, a big old metaphor for the Stones versus Beatles flap when they first kind of came onto the scene. And Mick, while he loves the Beatles, he hates zombies. So he feels the need to exterminate all zombies, no matter if uh, they're wonderful musicians or just random zombies who were turned into zombies by said wonderful musicians. Yoko is Yoko, except she's a ninth-level ninja lord. The funny thing is that John, Zombie John, feels that the rest of the band members would really like Yoko. She's the kind of girl that they want in the studio because it's just great to have around another ninja. You never know when you're going to need one. Ringo's already a ninja, but, you know, if one ninja's good, two is better. And there are all kinds of epic battles between... Paul George Ringo versus Yoko, and Yoko kind of comes off as a badass. Now, how did you react when you heard that the producers behind Pulp Fiction wanted to make your book into a movie? They are terrific people. Stacey Sher and Michael Schamberg are as professional as it gets. They read the book, they, they and they read it from cover to cover, and I know that for an absolute fact, because they pulled out like these little one-liners that unless you'd read the book, you wouldn't have caught. Now, I was thinking about the soundtrack to this uh, would-be film that's that's going to be made of your book, and, and I was thinking about how the original Beatles songs could be renamed, and I thought about one. Um, here's just my humble suggestion. A Hard Day's Bite. Uh-huh. Uh, have you come up with any? Well, we're probably going to try and use the original music because in the book, I've created this parallel universe where the songs are still the songs. They're not like zombified versions of the songs. Everything else they do is zombified. But the music is still the same. And if you had to have one song in that you remember listening as a kid, and it has to be in your movie, what Beatles song would it be? Boy, the the question that everybody wants to be asked, what's your favorite Beatles song? And then you draw a complete blank. I'm going to go with Rain because the, of the backwards recording. I kind of feel like that's sort of mystical and does fit with the weirdness of of this project that was alan goldscher author of the book paul is undead which is soon to be made into a movie and if you're wondering what he meant by playing the song rain backwards well there's a bit of a story behind it Uh, john lennon accidentally played the tapes for the song in reverse and he and the rest of the band enjoyed the sound so much that they stuck with it so uh here's a little bit of rain 